If I would have to guess what code I have typed in the most in the last 6 years, it's got to be this line. I use it all the time in my tutorials. Now in every code editor that I use, I create a snippet that types the code for me. In this video you're going to see how that works in Z Editor. I'll copy the code to my clipboard. I use the command palette to configure the snippets for Python. The snippets are in this python.json file and right now it's empty. Now here is what a snippet looks like. Each snippet has a key and some properties. Now the prefix is the shortcut in the text editor. Then there is the body, which is the actual code. So I'll paste my code from before. And I'm going to have a few problems here, so I need to escape these quotes. And that looks good. I can give the snippet a description. And that should do the trick. I'm going to save this file. I'm going back to main.py. I delete this code and now I can just type names and press enter. And there is the code. Let me show you another one. Here is class employee. I want to create a property for the name attribute. Notice two things. The snippet is multiline and there are some repeating variable names. I'll start by creating the snippet with a fixed variable name. I create a new snippet. The shortcut will be prop. This time the body is not a string, but a list, and I'm going to fill it with the lines of code from main.py. But first let me create a description. Like that. Now I'm going to add each individual line of the multi-line snippet. I'll copy the code. I don't need to type these four spaces. The code editor will do that for me. So I delete it. And here I have an empty line. So I'm going to create an empty string for that. And here the line will start at character zero. So I will have to add four spaces here. And here I don't have to do it. And that should do the trick. So this can be a bit tricky. You will just have to try it out if it works. So I save the snippet and I go back to main and I delete this and I type prop and press enter. And there we go. And now I will create this snippet variable. I go back to the snippets. And I select everything that needs to be variable. So there is this name. And I'm going to replace these five occurrences with $0. That is a snippet variable. I save the code. I go back to main. I delete the property. And I'm going to type prop. And when I press enter, I now have a multi-cursor where I can type the name of the property. Of course, snippets work in other code editors as well. Let me know how you use them in the comments. And we'll see each other in the next video.